Sabine Gettated and hold back on her thoughts as she addressed Prince Harry and Meghan Markle's Netflix documentary today. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex released the last three episodes of their series today in which they discussed their reasoning behind leaving the royal family in 2020. The show has certainly been a talking point on social media and has caused many to share their thoughts publicly. Sabine, 38, took to her Instagram story to share her opinion about what she described as a snooze fest. In her first post, the socialite took a swipe at the pair as she compared their lifestyle to the late Queen's low-key ways. She wrote, Glad you found a mansion to match the size of your egos. Elle McPherson looks better than ever in barely their bikini she also claimed Meghan was alleging that the palace were jealous of her popularity. What is the palace? Her in-laws, she added. Sabine then shared a clip of Harry discussing how people didn't like it when the supporting act was doing a good job. That upsets people, it shifts the balance, he claimed as articles of Meghan were shown on camera. Laughing, the jewelry designer wrote, Ha 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 but guys can you make it at least a bit more subtle? So Meghan was doing a better job than her Phil, and Ender's footage of Kate. So they had to destroy her. This is so good, she added. I feel like I'm watching a course on narcissism. Sabine went on to write, Wow. The gaslighting is pretty dark. Parallel Megan slash Diana, subtlety has exited the chat if it was ever there. Dot Anita Harris' husband Mike Margolis diagnosed with Alzheimer's, revealed Lottie Moss swipes at model sister Kate for not being there for her, latest Nadia Sawala talks of terrible drop-off in Meghan and Harry Netflix, opinion, this is important because any press article from then on talking about her tantrum, rudeness and diva behavior is all, in the constructed series here, orchestrated by her Phil, her brother-in-law and Kate and the Queen to destroy her not because they are actually true. Ladies and gentlemen, Narcissus. She went on to claim that the six-part series was of Meghan telling viewers Kate is jealous of her. Sabine added, imagine having this platform and what could have been done with it. What a waste. In her penultimate post, she claimed the documentary was too stupid for her to continue to watch. She went on to claim that Meghan was trying to control the public. This cannot be worth anyone's time seriously, she concluded. Express.co.uk has contacted a representative for Harry and Meghan for comment.